Well, I'm back. Since we're going to a low level area, it doesn't really matter if I'm using, you know, uh, well, let's face it, relatively crappy equipment. So we're just going to head there, you know, with whatever we feel like. So that's why we're bringing along Mia and Pyros. After all, we don't usually use them that much. And I figured, you know, at least this way, you know, Pyros gets to do something for a change. Because usually he just hangs out in the background doing nothing for months at a time, apparently. I'm not sure the exact skill this game takes place at, but he hardly ever does anything. Uh, these things are a pain about to find, to be honest. There's never. Definitely want to bring those with me, and I don't want to talk to you, Mia. I just feel like getting inside here. After all, I want to help out Natsume by getting those blades and getting around my team. And I might come back here for a few more grunt mints later. After all, like I said, they're not the easiest item to find, so it's definitely worth noting down this area has them. Ugh, problem is I don't have a word document convened for that. I but ironically... Right the dungeon because I wanted the spiral edge. But I got scared and ran away. The ironic part is you can buy this weapon in the next game. Come on, Natsume. Be strong. That's why you started this game. The funny part is she becomes the 8th Chaotic PK at the end of .hack GU. Like, I'm not even kidding. She becomes like one of the world's most dangerous player killers in her obsession to find Tri-Edge. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Because she thinks it's a powerful weapon she can wield. Ugh. <sighs> So she became insanely brave later on. Oh yeah. Freeze target's accuracy. Okay. Let's uh make up for the usual problems. Let's strengthen everybody. Come on, let's see. Come on. Thank you. I don't care if Pyros gets a strength boost, though. I probably should apply all that equipment to myself, though. Okay, what's the fastest way to get down? That's my question. Okay, this way. My instincts were right. I could clear this dungeon, but let's face it, that's why it's done fast. That's why we, we bothered even doing the power-up stuff. So we can hit harder and be more accurate. That way we're not wasting time, you know, swinging pointlessly. Like an idiot. Okay, we are gonna lose some money doing it this way, but it's fine. I can always do some random dungeons later if I really want to get some extra cash. But you brought some because I don't want to use one on them. Seriously. Eh, not worth it. A shield man, eh? Well, thanks for playing, I guess. Oh, a chest dropped. I guess I'll open this up. Like, even if I don't need it, I can still carry it. So, why not take it, you know? Because even if it's just a scroll, I can always sell those off for like a hundred. Easy. I was somewhat tempted to give him a golden axe. Just cause. That could make him equip it. At least he gets a better weapon. The golden axe would definitely be a downgrade, but at least it would be shiny, I assume. Um, yeah. Gift. Oh, thank oh, give me And... And I'll give you a silver oh. axe. Okay. Equipment. Wait, I gotta go with the party equipment, sorry. And then we can go in. Tell him to equip a golden axe, which will lower his stats alright. How golden is this golden axe? Not quite. 
The Silver Axe is slightly more powerful, so it'll be less of an attack drop, but its accuracy is negative 99, so you couldn't hit the broadside of a barn while equipped with it, so at least with this, he can, he can at least hit the target. I mean, he's not going to be hitting it hard, but, you know, I don't care. It's all about style right now, not substance. Style. Got to style over the enemy. Invisible you know, like we're uh, channeling Lord Chill from um, the Team Four Star dub for the Bardock special. You know, where he goes to the future after being killed. Because reasons. <laughs> Okay, let's just take this thing out. And done. Well, let's head this way and grab the spiral edge and head back up, I guess. And a yellow candy. Okay. I know she was looking for this. Wow, That's why we came here. Edge? You're so lucky. Eh, you can have it. Are you sure? But I can't give you anything in return. You can give us your member address. Well, except maybe myself. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Thank you, Natsume. What? Don't take me wrong. Well, what I meant was... Maybe I could help you out with something. And this is how Natsume became a dot hacker. <laughs> Well, now. Way to go, girl. <laughs> Offering yourself on the first day. That's... That's just unbelievable. Okay. I can't take you guys with me, though. Yeah, yeah, you can keep the golden axe, Pyrrhus. I don't care. Word list. Testable golden messenger. Okay. Do I have all the equipment to set up for that other ability? Or is that also tied to my shoes? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're gonna have to switch shoes when we get there. Because I'm gonna want to increase my accuracy as well as my attack power. Just to make this go a little bit faster. And probably use a speed scroll. So we're gonna spend quite a bit of time powering up. Because of course we will. Try me! Janu the Gobbler! One of the four Gob Kings! Honestly, you're not that scary, man. Okay. Increase our uh, accuracy for obvious reasons. Because these things are a pain in the butt to hit. I also want to increase my attack strength. And one last thing, I want to use one of my speed scrolls, because we do have a couple. Increase our speed so we can better keep up with this goblin. So we can end this fight real fast, hopefully. And oh, we still got a miss. Or two. Okay, one more. Thank you, power-ups. Beating Stani wasn't exactly a fluke. Eh, he was even easier than you were. I can't believe I lost! I can down a pizza in 20 seconds! How about you? Ah! Eh, not even close. But speeding isn't the same thing as being a really fast runner, man. But we did get some goblin mail for it. I might keep that around just to throw in springs. If you keep the whole set, you can summon a giant goblin at the end of the game, which can help out in the next game as well somewhat. Um, that's about it. Because it's a general summon, doesn't have any um, typing attached to it. Okay, let's get going. There's gotta be information in our emails or on the board about another protected area. But I'm assuming we got some affection emails, maybe. Uh, what do you do, do you? Uh, 
Uh, we'll go with how about you. Don't know if that's right. Hmm. Uh. I don't know what's the preferred answer here, but I guess I go with that. If she was working on Applepie, that might get her to give her another response back or improve her affection level. If not, we can always raise it by, um, just doing our normal routine by bringing along in parties, which was definitely gonna happen. Okay, quiet eternal white devil, huh? Well, that's on another server. I don't know if I'm gonna be allowed to go there yet. Good luck with finding Alf. Oh, jeez. You wanna find Grunties, you gotta go to the next server, Dooley. Quit out, see if there's a message letting us have access to the other server. Because they'd have to send me a message about it. Hmm. School's varsity tennis team. The only one in varsity has a sophomore. Uh, we'll get back to this later. Um, guess we'll go with that. Yeah, another one of those messages you have to arrange by carefully working your way through it. Bear of the bracelet, help me. Yeah, I'll try and work on that. Because we can't go there now. So obviously Black Rose is going to want to be with us for that journey. Because she always has to journey with us when it comes to um, the important story stuff. Problem is I don't know if I got the best gear available for um, where we're going. For all I know we're going to have to jump up quite a few levels. Ugh. There are going to be some difficulty spikes in this game for sure. Yeah, Lambda server, I believe. Ugh. I thought it'd be a bit further in before we got to this, though. Yep. Or maybe Lambda's later. It's been a while. I can't remember what that symbol is. I try not to think too hard about it. Well, we have arrived. Hey! A gentleman never makes a lady wait. Well, sadly, a lady isn't here, now is you she? You are going to Theta, Quiet Eternal White Devil with me, right? Oh, Theta server. Sorry. I'll be waiting at the Chaos Gate. Get there as soon as you're ready. I'll be there ASAP. Will we? Let's see, heavy, huh? Fire helm. Okay, so that's not what I'm gonna be looking for. Um, oops. nothing I really want there either. My name's Johnny. The, the stray grunty. Yeah, we can make a grunty here, but that's not got as much impact as I'd like. It's not like there's any hidden items floating around here, so I'm gonna try and talk to other people looking for trades. Fire spear, long arm weapon, useless. Again, why do the shoes have to have one I'm looking for for uh, support skills at the moment? Let's see, ring mail, huh? Aqua guard, so that just cures um, status effects. Okay, increases target's defense. I'm definitely gonna want one of those. Unless I'm gonna start carrying around a bunch of um potions. Problem is trading for this stuff. Let's see. I can probably offer up some various orbs for the rest of it. 
We're usually not super picky. Well, it's a bit weird being in the shoes of all things, you know? Okay, so this gets life drain. Oh, it can decrease the target's defense, too, huh? Well, no. Those are some interesting options. Okay, I guess we can offer up uh, a mountain guard. I'll just go up two mountain guards. We'll definitely be uh, giving that to Black Rose, because she's the only heavy blade we have access to at the moment. And she's usually the one we'd bring along anyway, so there's no reason not to give it to her. Okay, Fire Guard. No, I'm looking for Fire Lizard. Okay. Because Fire Lizard would let us, um... Do some of the strengthening skills we like doing right now. An air wanda. Useless. Damn. These trains are uh, less than pleasing. Yeah, the mountain boots I already gave to her at this point, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we talked to this guy already. If not, he doesn't have anything I really want anyway. Uh, can I raise a granny at this point? Or is that not an option yet? No, I went more on the pen. Okay. Um, golden eggs. Mints. Doesn't really matter, I'm just looking for stuff to get his level up. Because I need to get a certain size in order to upgrade them. That way I actually have unlocked something we can actually use. Though there are uh, like three different types of grunties. I'm just trying to hit the bare minimum size limit. Hopefully it's not going to end up being 30. Though the fastest way the grow is almost always with golden eggs. Yeah, I don't even have white cherries, man. Invisible egg, huh? I'm guessing it's going to be 30. It makes sense. Um, get food. Okay, so... Let's Ono oh Mel him up to hopefully adult size. I assume we're just gonna get the standard grunty with us just giving such random food out. Thank you! I got to thank you for use Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, we can trade with him, so he might have something worth it. Um Gruntal, useless. Useless, useless, useless. A bandit axe, huh? Problem is, I it's not a rare weapon. Which means I should be able to find them on my own. If I go to the right area. I'm not usually interested in finding weapons for heavy axemen, because I don't usually use Pyros that much. Hence why I gave him a golden axe, because it's like it doesn't matter, it's all about style with him. If he's coming along, it's not because the fight's difficult. Oh, look at the word list. Thirteen, huh? Well, that should be too bad. Well, that'll do for this episode. Next time, we'll be heading out to, you know, our first area in the Theta server. Until then, see ya. <laughs>